Chris the Carpenter here. Uh, 3D printer update. So this is my new printer. Alright, so I, uh, I borrowed heavily from the printer bot. I basically redesigned the printer bot in aluminum. Um, I couldn't use the original printer bot file um, for reasons I don't really want to go into, but um, I was able to use it enough to pull measurements off of, get back of the envelope measurements and dimensions, and then I went through and I basically just redesigned it using those dimensions, and that's what I'm looking at here. So um, this is uh, one by four by eight uh, aluminum. It's 6063, which I don't like as much as 6061. Some pretty end caps. Um, I ran out of... Um, uh, Aluminum, so I just made some temporary legs out of some plexi I had. And this is not sitting down flat. One second. There we go. Okay. Uh, here is the trolley. And I still have to make the little shelf here. Where is... Did I have an extruder? Yes, I have an extruder. Okay. So, there... There's that guy. Like that. Okay. And then back here, this is the hole where my belts are going to go through and the notches for the uh, zip ties to hold the belts. Um, here's the motor on some standoffs. I still got to trim these bolts off. Um, there's the X motor. And here is the X um, idler. Um, here, these are my uh, Z threaded blocks. These are the, Z, the nuts for the Z. And they, well, those two holes are for this guy. And he's going to fit right like that. As you can see, it almost lines up perfectly with my little coupler here. So I still got to thread that. I want to do it real carefully, probably on the drill press, um, to be sure it's perfectly square. Um, so there's that, okay, and then um, here is the side and my rod holders. This is pretty much almost exactly the same as a uh, printer bot. I just eliminated a few extra pieces there, and I eliminated a few extra pieces here. Did it with standoffs. There's the other Z thingy. All right, and then here's my table. Um, take that off. And this is what I did today. Uh, today I finished milling the trolley and these blocks that need to be cleaned up a little bit. And then these really nice end pieces, these rod holders. This is half inch stock, so it's just a tank. And then here is my Y. Um, there's the, that's the, the tooth pulley and the belts go there and there. So it is, it is a, um, a center pull system, which is kind of snazzy. Um, gotta get these bearings tucked in there. I'm using these little 12 millimeter. Oh, I'm using 12 millimeter uprights. 12 millimeter clamps. Uh, didn't feel like milling those myself. It's just uh, this machine's been running for three days straight. It seems like. Um, and then um, here's my Arduino and ramps. And it actually. Let's see if we can look under there. You can see that cutout under there. That is, um, and the four studs coming down, that is this guy right there. And it'll just hang under, it'll spend underhung right there. And there's the bottom of the Z rods and the three motors, bottom of the Z rods. Um, stop switch for Y, I still got to drill in a stop switch. To be honest, I couldn't see it on the design, so... Now that it's full size and done, I can do that. Oh, this goes up and down. There's my Z. So, oops, we're caught here. One second. Okay. And uh, golly gee whiz, I think that's it. All of the all of the wires will tuck in here. I'm gonna poke some wire loom out of here and probably out of well, it'll be out the back, out there for the table. And then it'll loop up and around for that. Um, 
got to mill a PCB heater for this and get a piece of glass cut. Um, I'm going to have this whole unused section here except for the wires going across. So I either got to poke the wires through and go underneath or route them because I have to put a big fat logo here. That would be, you know, Rocket Brand Studios because the six inch table is only that big. So all of that is open. Rocket Brand. Pew. And uh, these need to get some set screws drilled and tapped in there to hold the rods and some holes here drilled and tapped to match those. Um, I've got some 25 millimeter fans coming, some little one inch fans, and I don't know where I'm going to put them. Possibly here on the ends blowing in. Um, I might end up milling some louvers here. Um, I don't know, but this is just a box of hot things. I mean, all of the um, the MOSFETs, um, all of the drivers, they're all just venting straight up into this box. So I'm going to have to get some air moving there. And, uh, whew. And no and then. I think, I think that's a pretty good update for now. Um, loving my coolant. Um, my cool mist spraying down at the bit is incredible um, this guy here um, this clamps on the router this is my mud flap which um, keeps the mist which is spraying that way from just spraying crap all over the, the machine it still gets everywhere but this catches probably 80% of it and it all just kind of gets caught and puddled up on the table I can shot back it out and then last but not least, I've got to make a case for the screen because I'm using the new Marlin and uh, my Cooley encoder wheel that I made a while ago. Um, that's got to go somewhere too. So, good golly, Miss Molly. Drilling and tapping next. Um, and uh, golly gee whiz, might be wiring in the next couple days. That'd be pretty cool. So, all right. 3D printer update. Ding!